Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, it's been about two months or so since I've uploaded last. I had a bit of a technical issue, my old camera broke, so I had to upgrade to this new camera. Uh, I hope you notice a quality improvement. I'm just getting used to the settings this week, so I'm sure I'll get it nailed down quite soon. Anyway, let's go straight ahead with the video. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is around the topic of gaming on Starlink. So, I've had Starlink for a number of months now, as you know from my previous videos on the channel. And if you spend any time looking at the comment section of any of those videos, you'll notice a very common question that I'm asked is around the topic of gaming while you're using Starlink internet. So that's what I'm gonna test out today and show you guys. Now when I say gaming, I do mean online multiplayer gaming. For example, Call of Duty Warzone, which is a very fast paced first person shooter game. And another game I'll test today is FIFA, which is a football or soccer game which you are sharing your latency one on one with another opponent. Now, the best metric to use is obviously the ping or the latency. So I'll show you those things while I'm playing the game. And then you can see for yourself what my latency or my ping is at any given moment and also how the game is performing on screen. So as you may have seen in one of my previous videos, the ping I usually get is around 39. I've seen it go down to 35. And of course, I've seen it raise to higher numbers like 50, 55 at times. And if you are a bit of a gamer, you'll know that the lower the ping, the better the gaming experience. So let's get into the actual content of the video. And just before we do, I wanted to run the idea past you, I suppose, and kind of let you know what my next video is I'm thinking of. And that's around the topic of live streaming while you're using Starlink internet. So not only would we be using the download speed and the ping of Starlink, but we would simultaneously be uploading onto a platform like YouTube or Twitch. So I think that would be a great test of the download speeds of Starlink and also the upload speeds working simultaneously. I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube do this yet, so that might be a good idea for our next video. Anyway, let's get to the gaming. All right, guys, so here is a first look at Call of Duty Warzone. Um, just in the middle of the game here, approximately 40 to 50 uh, ping. Sometimes it spikes to 60, 70 just in the middle of the game. But as you can see on screen, I'm not noticing any performance issues at all. Um, I mean, it's microseconds, if anything. Um, so I've been playing Warzone now for a few months, uh, probably a year maybe, um, with Starlink. And um, yeah, it seems to be going absolutely fine. To be honest with you, I've had a couple of dropouts, uh, but that's just because the internet dropped out itself and wasn't caused by the game or anything like that. Um, as you can see here, I'm being somewhat competitive against other players so there doesn't seem to be any skipping or lagging now i have experienced some of that in the past and maybe here and there i get it but again guys i'm after going from terribly slow internet to something like this so you know i'm in heaven if you're on a fiber connection and you fiber optic cable running to your home and your ping is like one or two or five or ten obviously this may not be for you and you're not going to be impressed by this but for most of the viewers who've kind of come forward and engaged on the channel, um, especially on the Starlink videos, it, this is absolutely huge for people, you know? Um, so I'm quite happy with the Warzone performance overall, and I am not only playing, but I'm also in a party chat as well. So I'm not just chatting in-game, I'm in a party chat and running that um, alongside the actual gameplay. Now, if you're a professional gamer, this may not be for you, you know, um, but chances are, if you're a professional gamer, you already have really great internet. And now guys, just uh, switching over to FIFA. Uh, with this gameplay here, I happen to have an opponent with good internet too, so there's no skipping and the latency seems to be fine. I don't know from in-game what my ping was um, at the time, but checking on speed test, uh, it was around 40, 45 on this particular night. Now, if I could just draw your attention to the little yellow symbol in the top of the screen, hopefully you see it. That's just indicating that it's not super duper fast latency between the two of us, uh, but it's just on yellow. Sometimes it goes red if it's very bad, and uh, most of the time it's green. So it's just a little warning or indication from FIFA. But as you can see on screen, the gameplay is very responsive and uh, we're able to play no problem. Unfortunately, I just uh, didn't happen to win this one. So guys, I just tested Warzone and FIFA in this video, but if you want me to test other styles or types of games, then just let me know in the comment section. Also, please do let me know in the comment section if you like my idea for the next video um, in the Starlink series. 
about live streaming to YouTube or Twitch uh, while actually playing online multiplayer games too. As always guys, I really hope you found some value in this video and you're finding value in the videos I'm posting so far. If you do like the video, then please do click like on the video so other people who may find value in it get to see it as well. When it comes to subscribing to the channel, of course, everyone says it at the end of the video to please subscribe, to stick around, uh, but I would only like you to do so if uh, you feel that you'll get value from this channel in future, um, and of course, I have a good feeling that you will. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.